Well, the introduction of Marty King brought out a huge round of applause. If he wins, he would certainly be my candidate for most outstanding wrestler. A lot of schools looking at Marty King. King is on the left. Still on the left there, Cummings on the right. Neither wrestler has lost this year. 68 wins between them. And Cummings is 102 and 15, so he's no slouch. Uh, there he's got the leg, going to try to keep him in. King does, yes, yeah, still pick up two. Take down. Take down in a nosebleed. And King was... All right, so he pairs the cotton in the nostril of Marty King, who's on top now and leading by a score of two to nothing. King resumes where he left off. Tried to kick through kind of a Granby roll. Didn't work. King in control. Looks like, oh, he gives up a point. A little sloppy, maybe. But King is very, very confident as we go down to one minute left in this period. One of the things uh, the wrestlers don't want to do is make that one stupid mistake. It's, it's bad enough when you're going up against such good competition, but I don't want to do something where I'm going to get caught and put on my back. But you got to be aggressive, and that's one thing I would note that most wrestlers, if you get a stalemate call, most wrestlers who are successful at this level, Dave, are generally the ones that are the most aggressive. Now, that doesn't always happen, but generally that's what happens. 37 seconds remaining here in period number one. Again, it is a blunt. A, a nosebleed does not count as an injury time. If it were uh, a strain or something or a strained wrist, then you have a certain amount of time to come back, two minutes. But in this, there isn't. You can have as many bloody noses as you wanted to. Darren Cummings with his back to you. He is in the blue. Marty King wearing the purple of section five. Marty King, one of those people who has been in this since he was in junior high school, Dave. And that, can you imagine being in eighth grade or, and coming into wrestling uh, 12th graders and, and, and doing all that well, and Marty King certainly did in the past. I believe that when he was in 8th grade, he took a second in the state. We're wrestling at 126 pounds now, and that's the end of period number one, a period stopped twice on account of nosebleed suffered by Marty King, and again, he's showing the claret flowing from the nostril. You know, if he's got good height, too, a little bit taller than his opponent, Darren Cummings, Sometimes you'll see that as a advantage, and sometimes it isn't. King moves quickly from the bottom, doesn't get out right away, but he makes a good, substantial, positive first move. And he is countered very, very well by his opponent, Darren Cummings, who just picked him up, took the leg out, and brought him down to the mat. So only a 2-1 lead for King. This may be one of those matches where the man who is the overwhelming his favorite does not actually overwhelm his opponent. They can't, uh, I think he's got blood coming from the other nostril, but you don't want to put cotton up both. It's, it's going to create all sorts of breathing problems. Marty King is wrestling in the state championships for the fifth year in a row. As an eighth grader, he was second in 91 pounds. As a ninth grader, he was third in 91 pounds. And as a tenth grader, he was fourth at 112 pounds. Last year, he became a champion at 119 pounds, and here he is now at 126. And he is trying to get away from Darren Cummings, but Cummings doing a good job to take him out of bounds. 113 left in the second period, and King only up by one point. 2-1. So now give, he's got to tie his shoe. Give Darren Cummings, I think this will be one of the longest matches of the night. Give Darren Cummings credit. He's doing a superb job. Uh, but he's been undefeated this year. He's got over 100 wins. He's got 102. So, as we say, uh, when you get up to this level, you got no patches. Referee, apparently, the whistle didn't blow correctly, so we're going to get a stop again. This match being conducted at a staccato pace. Cobwebs could form on the cameraman if they don't. But, oh, nice move. Head to half, a little risky, and King is going to shrug it off and maybe come out. Does he reverse it? Yes, he does now. 
Thought he might go for the cradle, but King picks up two on the reversal. They're both standing, Cummings and King. A little more King. breathing room now for King. King gained control. They're going to go out of bounds. But uh, Cummings being very... Now he's got it up both nostrils. So now he's going to be breathing through his mouth. Well, Darren Cummings has one nostril plugged up. Here's a good look at Cummings. And back behind him is Marty King. It's like some sort of a costume. Well, right now, King on top in control, but he's going to lose it momentarily. One point. Yeah, Cummings right back in it. 4-2. We're in the second period, under half a minute remaining. Marty King leads Darren Cummings 4-2 at 120. See the clock winding down, 15. Cummings trying a little bit of muscle. Looking at the clock, that can be disastrous sometimes. Both men look pretty good on their feet. The end of the second now, and it's a 4-2 to two lead for this man, Marty King of Canandaigua, and he'll be on top. It's funny what we were talking about, you know, people would say, my gracious, this has got to be, with all those wins and stuff, you ought to just go out and pin everybody, but it doesn't happen that way. A lot of those wins, I'm sure, have been one and two point wins, though he certainly has gotten his way into this final rather easily. A little bit of trouble, he got a little bit too high, he's going to lose points. And danger being taken down. Uh, he's going to give up. He started on top. He started in control. Oh, good move by King. Because he was on top. And it looked like he might be reversed. Marty King will pin Willie Power in a minute 42. Lee Salt is in a minute 53. And then 22 to 4 over Peter Sartori. It's definitely a different match against Cummings. Because Darren Cummings is down by only two points. They're going to call a stalemate. Darren Cummings with a pin in 359 over Jim Washington, a 25 to 3 decision over Keith Pappas, and a 10 to 2 win over Annabelle Lee. So neither one really pressed to get here. That's Cummings on the bottom. Nice shot there. A good picture of Cummings. And the man who came in on his back, the man we've been talking about, King. So Marty King on top. 115, and he will be a state champ for a second time. But Cummings has got a lot to say about it. Hand control. He's got a hand lock. You saw Cummings call that. Cummings gestured that he had his hand lock. He's going to be up. It'll be tied. One for an escape, one for a hand lock. That's 4-4. Four, four. That came about awfully quick. Well, he sat out. And he couldn't get away, and he looked down, and he saw that King had had his... We're going to start the injury clock now for this nose. We're starting it for King. Not bleeding, the official is saying. It is not bleeding. That's why they're starting that injury clock. See him pointing at the hands right there? said, there you go. That's an illegal hold. And now watch him get an escape. That gave him two points. One for the illegal body lock, one for the escape. And now they started the injury clock because they said, as you said, David, it's not bleeding, so it doesn't count. As a bloody nose, he's going to have to take his injury time. That is Marty Second. King. Marty King got some liquid refreshment, spit it out, and he did not spit out any blood. So apparently the bleeding has stopped. Well, We're tied at four now. 50 seconds to go, period number three. Good match. Oh, nice ankle pick. King fought it off. Cummings went right for that ankle. Both men good on their feet. This should be exciting. 38 seconds, 37. You don't want to see a stalling point awarded here. No, I don't think you will. Neither man seems to be in a position to stall, although King, oh, King got the leg. Uh, they're trading positions. No warnings yet. 23 seconds left. King thoroughly pressed. There he goes. Boy, he got in on that. No points awarded. 15 seconds. Yes. There it is. Cummings look back at the clock. It's under 10 seconds now. They're both looking at the clock. It's over. That's going to give Marty King his second state championship. But I'll tell you what, Darren Cummings from Smithtown really battled him all the way. 
standing ovation for Marty King as well as Darren Cummings. I was just going to say, I didn't get the standing ovation for both men. Darren Cummings won a heck of a wrestling match. But give Marty